fight is ongoing over the wives of GOP candidates Donald Trump and Senator Ted Cruz. But the wife of another candidate, First Lady of Ohio Karen Kasich, is not getting dragged into it. Now, before the feud began and the news out of Brussels broke, Mrs. Kasich, the First Lady of Ohio, went on the record. That was earlier this week. Mrs. Kasich, nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you, too, or hear you anyway. Anyway, yes, hear me. All right, so you and the governor have been married 19 years. Where did you meet him, and did you like him right away, or did it take a while? I met him when I was in my first job out of college. I was in public relations, and I had to go take pictures of about seven officials in the state of Ohio. And he was just one of the folks on my list. He didn't mean anything to me at the time. And he was a congressman. And I went in, and I took his picture. And you know what I remember is we laughed. And he had those twinkly eyes, and we just had a good time. And that's what I remember about meeting him. Okay, so how did he get your phone number, or how did you get his? Well, my office phone rang a couple of months later after the magazine came out, and he called and he said, you know, I just wanted to tell you, I think that magazine turned out really nicely. And I thought, huh, none of those other guys called to tell me that. I was kind of clueless. And, um, and then about a month later, he called again and asked me out to lunch. Okay, so then what did you say from then on? Did you pursue him or did he pursue you? Oh, no, he was pursuing me completely. Are you kidding? <laughs> That's good to know. All right. Now, uh, I'll tell you that there's some things, like my husband says that, I, I, that we've been together since 1979, and he says he can't figure out why I can't shut cupboards. Are there things that your husband does that annoys you like that? Um, you know, the only thing that comes to mind is that my husband cannot put socks down the laundry chute. <laughs> I bet there's right, a lot well, of other folks out there with husbands like that, too. All right. All right, well, if he gets to the White House, I think we'll probably have to try to figure that one out. All right, now, <laughs> as, the first, as the First Lady of, of Ohio, you have been, um, one of the things that at least that I read about is that you are interested in teaching young people how to eat healthy. Is that right? Fitness and nutrition, yes. I think our young people are really our most valuable natural resource, and we need to guide them, and part of that is getting them locked into good habits early on. All right, now I, I take it then that you are somewhat of a fan of Ms. Obama and her plan. I mean, she's been act active in that as well. Yes, I think anything that leaders can do to show young people a healthy lifestyle is a, is a great benefit. All right, what, um, what about the food supply? I mean, it's like, you know, you can eat, I mean, it's sort of hard to eat healthy when we have, in a lot of ways, sort of a lousy food supply and some of the processed food, the junk you buy in the grocery store. Uh, any thought about that? Well, I just like to say everything in moderation, and again, you know, the more leafy greens you can pick, the better, but I think our schools are, are trying to change and do a better job with that, at least the ones that I've noticed around Ohio are, so I think we're getting there, and again, everything in moderation. I don't like to say that there are bad foods. All right. Uh, would, uh, why, why do you think your husband wants to be president? Because he has a record of making great progress in the state of Ohio and great progress when he was in um, Congress for 18 years, and he has got the experience and the vision to lead this country. I think he wants to unite us and not divide us. We're a country that's been too divided for too long. I remember when uh, I interviewed former First Lady Laura Busher, she said it a million times to other people as well, is that when her husband wanted to run for Congress, he promised her she'd never have to give a political speech. Well, it didn't turn out that way because he ended up running for president eventually. Uh, is there something, I mean, what do you think about the campaign trail? Is that something you like or you don't like? Oh, I very much enjoyed it. It's been quite a privilege for our daughters, Emma and Reese and me, to come on and off the campaign trail with him, to travel the country. You know, one thing I've noticed is that we're very diverse in America, but no matter where we go, people seem to have the same concerns, and that's been very interesting to me. All right, let me do some of a dirty TV thing. Your husband used to be on TV, so he knows this trick. When we come to Cleveland for the Republican convention, and since you'll be the host first lady, will you do an interview on our show? Of course, Greta. That's an easy one. <laughs> All right, good. Well, that was our dirty one because I did it on TV. Anyway, Mrs. Kasich, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.